Hello everyone again, and this is Edgar's, and I'm back with another review. Look at that. This is the Mitsubishi Ki 46 to Dina trainer. Japanese Army Scout Plane. I'm kind of on, on the roll if we talk about Scout Planes because the previous video was also the Ki 15. And yes, my friends, this is the trainer. And you see with the additional cupola and orange, basically Japanese painted their planes orange only for trainers. At least I know that much. So the box is kind of bold, you see, but it came from internet like that. I ordered, you know, mint condition, but it came like this. So it's not even open yet. So we are going to open this thingy right here, right now. Well, we are going to check instructions. I'm gonna tease you a bit there. Japanese and English raffle, as always. And the instructions, yeah, the part location, and uh, what's on the other side? Oh, yeah, markings and uh, well, painting scheme all orange, and same with the propeller paint chart. And then we have the first part of the instructions being the cockpit pilots, and then we go, on, go over. To the nose. Where is number three? Can't find it. Here it is. Uh, instructions for the wings and a wing assembly and adding them to the plane. Oh, it's actually a nice joint right there. You see, kind of creates a uh, female and a male. So, yeah, explain that to kids. Oh. Engine assembly, no glue for that. Bullshit, I'm going to use glue because I don't want my propellers to spin. And uh, a bit of an exhaust work, a bit of an engine work there. And also you are adding canopy in this step. And then there's basically the chassis, open or closed, you know, lower, gear down, gear up. Nothing much about that. And then the last step is most exciting. You need to add the antenna. Not the antenna, actually. That's a pit of tube. Yeah, right. Q46. Let's dig into it, shall we? Oh, yeah. I know that Rebels of Cloud 9 loves this sound, so... This is for you. Don't be thankful. Cardboard, right. Decals. Again, the flying tiger thing. Not really sure what that is. I'm gonna find out. And again, not white, but freaking yellow rings about around those. Hinomiros or Himoniros, whatever called. Uh, yeah, the Japanese red rings of death, right? Canopies. Lots of them. I suppose that you can make a non trainer uh, plane out of this one. Or you can't. Or you can't. I, I don't really think you can. Well, we will see. We will see later on what we are going to use and then... But it can be clear. I mean, it's clear, it's nice, it's relatively thin, you know. And, uh... Well, it's, well, it's framed a lot. You know, it uses a lot of framing, so... But anyway, you know, not that bad, not that bad. Yeah. Passes the uh, canopy test, right? Cowlings and spinners, right, and the nose part, I suppose. Uh, cowlings, pretty nice, you know. Resist panel lines, nothing, nothing is raised here, and uh, nose bits, and the propeller nose bits, if you would call them like that. 
wings again. Um, pretty nicely scribed everything. Really thin. Really nice and thin right here. You can see them. Alright, bit of a flash here. I don't know what's that for, but you know, still extra free plastic for you. And then we have, yeah, this is probably the trainer nose uh, with the with the canopy section up here. Oh, shit, what was that? That was probably my brother. Oh, uh, yeah, that was on the camera on that. <sighs> Alright, cockpit. Let's go into the cockpit session. Uh, section with the uh, legless and faceless and handless pilots they look like out of concentration camp sorry about that joke but still you know nice seating you know yeah, pause need to instruct those instructions more clearly but you know everything else that is displayed here I mean it's absolutely perfect you know just a bit of sanding you know a bit of an scratch built maybe some parts you know or some you know detail them up and that's it you are you are ready to go with a uh, perfect kit uh, you know like this is you can't really find the instrument panel hmm. maybe it's hidden somewhere but still all right all right Fuselage holes. I love this tail. I mean, look at it. Just look at the form of that tail. That is absolutely beautiful. And look at that. For nice and quite a bit of an old kit, this is probably one of the best things I've ever seen. The riveting, like, around the wing where it uh, comes together with the fuselage. It looks absolutely amazing. I love that. And also the stabilizers are perfect. Carpet four with a little bit more of a detailing right here. You know, some control panels. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. And propellers, uh, which are in quite a good shape. I wouldn't say they're bad. Not going to say that any second. All right. So this is it for the key 46 Dina trailer I hope you like this review and uh, you know if you want any of your kits any of your products reviewed by me contact me my email will be in the description and you know we can work something out I'm not really being really official on this yet but still, maybe if you want, like, your products, your kits, or maybe just, you know, request me a kit to review, and, you know, you can send it to me, or maybe I have it. So, yeah, we can try something out, no problem with that, just, you know, give me new ideas, and I will, I'll try to think about something new, too, to put it all here, and, uh, you know, make something interesting besides you know in in box reviews and something like that to interest you guys more in uh, in my channel basically so yeah i've been away for such a long time and now i kind of want to return with a will with a little bit of a more success than i did uh on the previous part like the season one so we can call this a season two so yeah a bit of a talkie uh after the uh review of the kit but still thank you for watching and i hope you i will see you next time my next video my next review probably it will be it's your modeler it's your fellow modeler edgars and see you bye